Su Marley, aged 55, ran with the Olympic torch on the 24th of June 2012 in Headingley, Leeds. She was nominated to run with the torch for her journey to raise awareness of the illness cystic fibrosis. She has completed the Great North Run five times, organised and participated in numerous fundraising activities including the Free National Peaks Walk, Sponsored Swim, 24-hour badminton game, abseiling and charity cricket matches. Her efforts have raised more than £10,000 for cystic fibrosis research and has been awarded an MBE in 2004 for her distinguished career in the civil service. In this video, I, Nathan Carter, will interview her about carrying the Olympic torch. So I'm going to start with the obvious, what did it feel like to be oh, running with the torch? Um, it was surreal, um, fantastic. I, it's really difficult to explain how, how I felt. Very, very proud and I think shocked a little bit um, at the number of people that were out supporting the talk from us. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. It's something I'll always remember. Did you know that you've been put up for nomination to run? Yeah, I did know because uh, my husband nominated me and when they made the nomination, you have to actually ask the uh, person you nominated if you've got their permission. So. Yeah, I did. What went through your mind the moment you heard that you were going to be a torch bearer? Um, surprise, because I didn't expect to be nominated. Um, because I thought that there was probably a lot more inspirational people than me about that maybe deserved it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But pleased that I, that I did get it. What things did you do in preparation to run with the torch? Well, I used to do a bit of running, um, and because I've done Great North Run a couple of times, and but I've not done any running for quite some time, so I decided that I'd best try and see if I could uh, manage um, a mile or so. So, yeah, I did. I ran uh, where I live, about a mile, with my hand up in the air, like that. Will this might count? <laughs> but no. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> when you woke up the morning of your run, what was the first thing that entered your mind? Um, it's here, the day's arrived, and what's going to happen. And I think it's that probably because you don't know what to expect. And um, I suppose worried that, you know, will I drop it? Will flame go out? How does it all work? Just, just everything about it, really. After running with the torch, how did you feel when it was all over? I wanted to do it again because I felt as if it had gone by too quickly. Um, it, it was just such a, a strange experience, a wonderful experience, that um, I think I'd have liked to have sort of done it in slow motion, just to sort of appreciate it probably. Would you like to it. run it a bit further? Well, I, did, I actually did two stints, because each person was supposed to do 300 metres, but when I actually got to the meeting place, they asked me if I'd do double. I think the person I was supposed to have run to uh, weren't able to come. So I actually did 600 metres anyway. And I had actually got a bit out of puff by the time I'd finished. But I think I could have probably gone on a bit further if I'd been asked. Did you watch the ceremony? No, I didn't. We'd got the, we'd got the tele, television on, I've taped it, and I haven't got around to watching it yet. Um, but we had a little get together at my house, and everybody else was watching it, and I weren't. So I will actually see it at some point. Did you see the cauldron lit bit? I did, I did see that bit, yeah. Seeing the cauldron being lit in a stadium, to see that exact same flame that you carried, how did it feel to know that there were millions of people all over the world watching that and that you carried it? Well, just, I suppose, strange that I were part of that, that I were one of 8,000 people that actually contributed to that flame actually getting to where it got. Yeah, part of this trip. What did you do to celebrate with running with the torch afterwards? Um, we didn't actually, we just sort of came home and I don't know, I just think I was just sort of exhausted by it all to be fair. So I just came home and put the feet up. Put feet up yeah. How heavy is the torch? Um, it's not that heavy, it's supposed to weigh about 2. I think it's supposed to weigh a kilogram, about 2.2 pounds. It doesn't feel too heavy when you pick it up, but once you've been running with it for a while, it does actually become a bit heavier. And it's a bit top heavy because the gas canisters that were in it. So, yeah. Well, thank you for taking part in this interview. You're more than welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.